news this afternoon. There's been a major development in the case of a missing Scott woman who disappeared while driving a rideshare client from Louisiana to Texas. Trooper First Class Derek Senegal, the public information officer for Louisiana State Police Troop D, has confirmed to News Channel 5 that the case involving 32-year-old Ella Goody was handed over to the Calcasieu Parish District Attorney's Office on March 17th for grand jury consideration. Goody was last seen over a year ago on March 9th, 2022. The case was being investigated as a homicide by Louisiana State Police, and to date, her body has not been found. The person investigators believe to be the last person to see Goody, the one she was transporting to Texas, is 37-year-old Brandon Francisco of Mansura. Francisco was arrested in St. Joseph, Missouri last year on March 25th, and Goody's vehicle was found in St. Joseph, Missouri on April 1st. Francisco was out on bond at the time for a Rapids Parish case in which he was charged with attempted second-degree murder, among other charges. When he didn't show up to court ahead of his trial and was found in Missouri, the Rapids Parish District Attorney's Office added a new charge, out-of-state bail jumping. Last October, Francisco pleaded guilty as charged to attempted second-degree murder and was sentenced to 30 years in prison without the benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. All other Rapids Parish charges were dismissed. And as for why the case is in the hands of the Calcasieu DA, that's because GPS cell phone records track her last known movements to Iowa, and a search was conducted in that area last April. Now it's important to note that state police told us that Francisco is still considered a person of interest in the Goody case. We reached out to his Alexandria-based defense attorney, Tiffany Sanders, and she told us that she wasn't aware that the Goody case had been handed over to the Calcasieu DA, she sent us this statement. Today, my office received information as to my client being named as a person of interest in an ongoing matter. Through unknown means, it was discovered that the investigation is still in its infancy, although over a year has elapsed. I do not want to try this case in the media and intend to adhere to the Louisiana rules of professional conduct to provide guidance on pretrial pre publicity. My client has not been charged with any crimes regarding this matter and vehemently maintains his innocence. And there's no timeline for when the case could reach a grand jury.